In this tutorial, we are going to talk about process stability. Process stability is the ability of the process to perform in a predictable manner over time. Stability is determined by examining whether common or special causes of variation are present. Usually, a stable process is influenced by a common cause of variation, while an unstable process is influenced by a special cause of variation. Let's see the difference between common cause and special cause of variation. A common cause of variation is present in all the processes. It's inherent in a process over time. While a special cause of variation arises because of unusual circumstances, it's not inherent part of a process. For example, if you measure every day the time to get to work by car, you will have common causes of variation such as traffic lights, weather conditions, etc. If you plot the data over time, you can see that the time to get to work by car varies between 20 and 27 minutes. But if you are late one morning because of a deviation on the road, that would be a special cause of variation. And if you plot the data, you will see that an outlier will appear due to a special cause of variation. The tool used to assess stability is the control chart. Control charts can be used for continuous and discrete data. All control charts have three components. Data point over time, a center line, which is the average, and control limits, such as a lower control limit and an upper control limit. But how do the control limits work? Control limits are plus or minus three standard deviations from the center line. If we look at a normal distribution, we know that 68% of the data is within plus or minus one standard deviation, 95% of the data is within plus or minus two standard deviation, and 99% of the data is within plus or minus three standard deviations. Now, here is how the control limits work. In a control chart, the central limits are based on approximately three standard deviations and they define the area which is three standard deviation on either side of the center line. So we would expect to see all the data points within the central limits. But if one data point falls outside the limits, then it means that it's an outlier due to a special cause of variation. Let's see some indicators of a special cause of variation. Any point that is outside the control limits or a shift representing a series of points above or below the center line within the control limits or a trend representing a series of data points that continuously increase or decrease or a cycling or alternating non-random patterns. The control charts are used for assessing the stability of a metric. But how do we choose the control chart? Minitab 16 offers a step-by-step -step guide to determine the right control chart for our data. I will cover this topic into another video tutorial.